One of the first things that a new homeowner wants to do when they move in is hang pictures on the walls. Now for some of the lightweight stuff it might be simple and easy, but once you get to heavy mirrors, heavy pictures, people get a little lost. Sean's right. It could definitely be intimidating hanging heavy items on the wall, especially when you can't find a stud. Man, that never works. Anyway, since no one wants to ruin their walls with tons of holes, choosing the right hardware for the job is key. So Ryan, the tools that I brought today to hang some pictures is a basic drill, a selection of drill bits, a screwdriver, lightweight hammer, and a level. Sean also brought in six different kinds of hanging hardware, ranging from a basic picture hook all the way up to a snap toggle that can hold hundreds of pounds. Now this is pretty cool. You actually brought in a piece of drywall as well, and you're gonna show us what it looks like on the front and the back of the wall so you're familiar with the hardware. Okay, so we're gonna start with the most basic of picture hanging hook. It's a simple picture hook and nail. This little guy will hold up to 10 pounds. This is a familiar anchor that you're gonna see at a lot of hardware stores. I'm gonna put the anchor into the wall, and I'm gonna stick that bottom point into the drywall. Okay. OK, now I'm going to take the hammer and I'm going to simply just tap this in and we're going to slowly drill this into the drywall. And it's as simple as drilling it in. When that anchor splits, your screw is all ready to hang a picture on. Next, we're going to get to a series of toggle bolts. So I'm going to use a pretty large drill bit to get this anchor through the drywall. Before we put the bolt into the toggle, we're going to put whatever it is we're hanging on the wall onto the bolt first. For today's purposes, I'm gonna use a washer, and we're gonna go ahead and just pop that into the drywall, and this is what it's gonna look like behind the wall. I pull it as far as I can towards me, and I tighten it by hand. And I'm really excited about this, because this holds about 75 pounds onto the wall. Wow. So that's like a large, heavy mirror that you can safely put on the wall with this simple piece of hardware. I like mirrors in my house, Sean, I'm not gonna lie. I bet you do. We start by drilling a hole into the drywall. And we're gonna go ahead and slide our anchor into place. Back to our drill, I've now put a Phillips head in, and I'm going to just drill that into place. This particular anchor comes with a screw. Tighten that up. And you can see those wings are out on the toggle and that's gonna hold 75 pounds. Wow. Sean has two more hooks to show me, and these bad boys can hold some serious LBs. We also have another type of toggle bolt. Okay, wow. this is called a snap toggle. 150 pounds. Wow. This will, believe it or not, hold it into your drywall. Really? After creating a small hole with our drill bit, we insert the plastic snap toggle and pull the strip. There we go. Okay. So now you've pulled the plastic strip as far as you can, and then this is the simple part. You just snap down, and that's your anchor. Really? Right there. I can see where Snap Toggle gets its name. All that's left to do is insert the screw, and this heavy-duty plastic is ready to support some serious weight. Okay, so the last piece of hardware that I brought is this strange-looking hook, and it's just a flat drywall hook. This will hold about 200 pounds on the wall without a stud. We drill a hole and wiggle that little guy right through the drywall. Now this, hook also comes with a few nails to put in, so we're gonna just tap those in. From the front, it's gonna look like this, and if we flip it around, you can see there's quite a bit of reinforcement there. From hooks that hold a couple pounds to hooks that hold a couple hundred pounds, I'm happy to be schooled in a wide variety of hanging hardware. Now we just need to win some awards so we can hang something on these. Toggle bolts and anchor bolts are fasteners used to secure one object to another, such as when you hang a painting on a wall. In the best case scenario, you have a stud right where you want to hang the picture. And you can use any number of common fasteners such as a nail or a picture hook. If you want to hang that painting in a particular spot and there is no wall stud, then you will need a toggle bolt or a molly bolt, or perhaps a plastic anchor. A plastic anchor or screw anchor works well for lightweight objects. When the hardware is installed, the sleeve expands.
Drill a hole slightly smaller than the closed end of the anchor. Tap the anchor into the hole until the rim of the open end is neatly flush with the wall. Insert the hardware into the anchor and screw it in. Here we used a threaded hook. The sleeve on a molly bolt expands when installed. The expanded sleeve creates an anchor within the wall. Drill a hole just large enough for the molly bolt to pass through. Insert the molly into the drywall until the screw head is flush against the wall. As you turn the screw clockwise, the slotted sleeve expands. Stop drilling when you feel resistance. Remove the screw from the sleeve. Assemble the hardware onto the screw. In this case, we're using a bracket. Insert the screw into the bolt and drill. The toggle bolt has spring-loaded wings. These are the toggle and are affixed to the bolt or machine screw. The toggle springs open against the interior of the wall and acts as an anchor for the hanging hardware. Drill a hole just large enough for the folded toggle to pass through. Assemble any hanging hardware needed for the project onto the bolt. Push the toggle bolt through the hole and pull the bolt toward you. As you screw in the bolt, keep enough counter pressure on that bolt to prevent the toggle from spinning. The toggle needs to fit snugly and remain stationary against the interior side of the wall. Before hanging in your painting or mirror, make sure you purchase the right type of anchor for your project. Know the weight of the object you're hanging and whether your wallboard is drywall or plaster. We use drywall for our demonstration, but they make bolts and anchors for plaster walls as well as concrete walls. If you're using a toggle bolt or body bolt, make sure the length of the bolt is longer than the thickness of the wallboard which in most cases is about, is about half an inch. And always make sure that your wallboard is strong enough to support the anchor. Water damaged drywall, for example, is likely to break down under the weight. So make any necessary repairs to your wall before you start your project. Everyone, I'm Joshua Clement, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to install a toggle bolt into your plaster wall. Toggle bolts are great for your toilet paper holders and towel rods because they go behind the plaster and grab onto a bigger portion of the plaster and hold your stuff in place. For this job, I'm going to be using a battery powered drill with a Phillips bit, a drill bit the same size as my toggle bolt. A toggle bolt is designed to collapse in half so you can push it through your drilled hole and after you pop out the other side on the inside of the wall, it flares back out and then when you tighten it, it grabs a hold of a bigger portion of the drywall or plaster, which gives it a lot more holding strength. First thing we need to do is go ahead and get our drill bit on there and drill out a hole where we want our toggle bolt to go. Next thing we're going to do is grab our toggle bolt, fold it in half, place it into the hole, and then push it in until you hear it click. After that, we're going to hold on to our bolt, apply a little bit of pressure out, and start drilling it in. A lot of times you want to put a washer on the other side of this, that way it doesn't collapse back into the wall, it stays right in place. One of the problems with this is, if you're not going to tighten it all the way up, let's say you want to hang a picture on there, 
It will wiggle around a little bit, but it won't go anywhere because it's securely fastened on the inside of the wall with the washer on there. It won't fall back into the hole. Toggle bolts are a great way to go ahead and put stuff on the wall, even if you don't have a stud or lath boards to hit. Thank you all for watching and good luck with this project.